I'm Dr. Joe Ahern, Director of the Lupus Center of Excellence at the University of Pittsburgh and McGee Women's Hospital of University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. This is a collaborative study between the Lupus Center of Excellence at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center and the Lupus Center in Cincinnati, directed by Dr. Hermani Bruner, a pediatric rheumatologist, a lupologist. And so this study is designed to take discoveries that we've made in adult patients with lupus and to study the same questions in pediatric lupus patients. And specifically, we discovered a set of biomarkers, biomarkers being really anything that you can measure. So blood pressure, cholesterol, red blood count, white blood count, those are all biomarkers. And so we discovered biomarkers in patients with lupus that we believe will help us for diagnosing and monitoring and ultimately treating the patients better. So the discoveries that we made in our adult lupus patients are now being investigated in the pediatric lupus patients that are cared for by Dr. Bruner. We generated some uh, preliminary data over the past several months prior to being awarded this grant by the Lupus Foundation. So the grant actually is taking effect, uh, we just heard recently, so this is an exciting opportunity for us to expand our preliminary data now. So uh, within a year, actually, quite quickly, we should have uh, results of the study and we're very optimistic. What we hope to learn from this study is several fold. Um, by looking at these biomarkers, we hope to have an impact on lupus uh, patient care and drug development. So specifically, we believe that we'll have an impact on being able to diagnose lupus better. So there's an epidemic in lupus with misdiagnosis. So many patients that we see in Pittsburgh who come from all over the country, from around the world, they're asking for their second, third, fourth, nth opinion, even as to whether or not they have lupus. So it's a big problem in diagnosis. We haven't come up with a new diagnostic test for lupus in decades. So it will help us, uh, the results of this study will help us to better diagnose a patient with lupus. Diagnosis is also important because in clinical trials for new therapies, you want to make sure that the patients you believe have lupus that you're testing actually do have lupus. So if you have patients in a clinical trial for a lupus drug, who turn out not actually to have lupus, that could really sabotage the study. So it's essential both for patient care but also for clinical trials to be able to properly diagnose lupus. It's an opportunity for us to look in a patient population that's uh, more homogeneous, more renal disease, and look to see how our biomarkers perform. And then we can translate our discoveries from adults to children and back to adults and as far as I know, this is the first study that actually is going to look at biomarkers in both adult and pediatric populations and combine the, uh, the expertise of two investigators and two lupus centers.